What's going on guys? Thomas from My Scent CI stopping in today to share five fragrances that I think that are going to be perfect for fall. These five fragrances are from the UAE uh, houses and one of the fragrances we'll be discussing is from the House of Milestone. We have Valencia, Umo, and Tense. Guys, this fragrance right here is great. It's a clone of Valentino Umo Intense and Milestone did a great job on this fragrance and I can't wait to wear it this fall. So if you're interested in this video, stay tuned and we're going to dive right into it after the intro. Hey guys welcome back for those that are returning i appreciate you for my new subscribers welcome to the channel on my channel we discuss all things fragrance whether they be fragrances from your online discounters or fragrances from your local rack stores your local rack stores are burlington marshall's tj maxx or ross because believe it or not guys you can find great quality fragrances at a good price at these locations all right guys this video will be on five fragrances uh, that are UAE base from the UAE houses and the theme of these fragrances guys is they're all in black bottles so a lot of these well all five of these really uh, I really can't wait to to wear this fall when the weather gets a little cooler because all five would be great for date nights uh, you know outings uh you know uh going to certain events all five of these will play their role i think you know during that season and we ain't gonna hold you to it i'm gonna get right into it the first fragrance we're going to get into is from the house of milestone we have valencia umo and tense check out the bottle on this one guys the gradient i picked this one up from tj max $12.99 guys cap is on there it's not sliding off in that but I don't suggest you hold your fragrances by the cap so this fragrance is cloning Valentino Umo Intense I haven't smelt the OG fragrance but this one right here guys for the price I paid for it and the performance of it it's a win this is a steal on this fragrance uh, Put a little in the, in the air. The atomizer is okay. Uh, this isn't a pressurized atomizer, uh, but it's okay. Nice burst of juice, you know. <sighs> now, what I initially pick up on my skin from this fragrance is the iris. The iris is prominent. It is that lipsticky iris compared to uh, Dior. Uh, intense and a Dior uh, I think the Dior 2020 didn't have the iris in it but it's in the same line of those fragrance guys you know the Dior Home uh, Intense Dior Home uh, Givenchy all of those fragrances are iris based and milestone did a great job with this fragrance and on my skin I, I get the vanilla the iris and I'm picking up some spices too I sprayed a little on my hand guys before I start recording But overall, this fragrance is wonderful and I can't wait to wear it this fall. So if you come across this one in any of the rack stores, guys, and I'm seeing them, they're starting to pop up a little more in uh, TJ Maxx and I've seen them pop up in Marshalls. You might want to get this one a try if you come across it, guys, because this coming up fall will be the perfect uh, season to rock this. Fall and winter. All right, the second phrase I'm going to discuss it's from the house of uh, Kamara, I think. We have Viso Victory. Yeah, a lot of people ain't ran across this one in Burlington. 
Uh, this one is Clone in uh, Invictus Victory. And when I say they did a wonderful job with this one, I had an OG. And the first thing I did when I came across this one was compare it to two. Uh, the Invictus Victory, that's one of my favorites from that line. Smells great. And I must, you know, commend Kamara on on the job that they did with this one because the scent the scent profile on this one is about 90 percent to the invictus victory they did a great job and this thing has a pressurized atomizer too i think no it doesn't atomizer is okay But as far as the scent profile, smell just like Invictus Victory. And I really haven't put too much wearing on this one, you know, last year during the cooler months. Uh, but I'm looking forward to wearing this one a little more often this coming up fall. Because of the scent profile, it's something that I enjoy. You pick up the vanilla, uh, the wood undertone. Uh, just a sweet, woody, slight spicy fragrance. And the quality to this one is, is pretty good. The performance on this one is decent too. I got, I think the last time I wore it, I got about five, five hours, you know, before I had the, the respray. So, and I think I paid $12.99 or $14.99 for this one. It was under twenty dollars, you know. So for a fragrance that's that's cloning the Invictus Victory and the quality that you're getting for that price, hey, you can't go wrong for this one, guys. And I'm I'm looking forward to wearing this one this fall. All right, the third fragrance is going to be from the House of Latafa. We have our mirror, our array from the it's it's. It's from Latafa, but I think it's like one of the uh, sub houses called Asdolf, but it's from the house of Latafa. And I think the name of the, the fragrance, the Amir Al Arab, Arab, means the Prince of Arabia. That's what it says on the side. Right there. And this is an EDP 100 mil. Check it out, guys. The perform the the presentation of this one is it's nice. You know, it comes with this velvet bottle. The cap is on there pretty good. I think they put the the plate on a little sideways, but other than that, it's a nice looking bottle. And the fragrance is is good, guys. The name fits the fragrance to the T. Prince of Arabia. This this smells like uh, uh, a fragrance for the royal, you know. Uh, up top, I pick up like a, a citrus, maybe a bergamot. Uh, you get these spices uh, and the undertone of some light woods. I really can't find too much online with this fragrance. But that's what I get. Atomize is decent. It is a distinctive smell. Kind of puts me in the mind of uh, uh, I think the who is it made by? Uh, Paco Rabanne. Uh, the Civil Robot. Can't think of the name of it right now, but it kind of it kind of puts me in the in the mind of that with the spices, the the bergamot, uh, the the scent profile, and it has like this little sweet undertone too. And it's most definitely this is this is one that's that's suited for cooler weather. So fall and winter. 
and I really haven't given too much wearing with this one either uh, but I'm looking forward to to getting some wearing in with that one and this this fragrance is called Amir Al Arabi Arab Prince of Arabia so you might want to check this one out too guys if you're a fan of that that type of scent profile all right guys the fourth fragrance would be from the house of the Tafa. we have Al Nober Amir now I have the other two uh, it's the orange one and the green one I forget the names of them guys but it's three of them and I have all three and this one right here I haven't given this one too much wearing because when I first got it uh, the scent profile to me was just like it was a little strange smell you know some people refer to it as having like a steam type of scent profile and I could see that when I read it but after they macerated guys this thing can change to me I'm picking up woods spices almost like a chocolatey undertone I smell Tom Ford uh, uh, I think it was ooh wood or ombre leather I forget which one it was and this one reminded me of that fragrance ever since it had macerated the scent profile and change and, and this one would be perfect you know for a cool night stepping out on, on, on the town uh, even going out to dinner you can even rock this one I say it in a formal setting a uh, casual setting uh, most definitely pick up this 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 leather type of undertone uh, slight sweetness I don't know if the sweetness in this one is is vanilla or amber smell like it might be a little more of amber in that family but this thing really impressed me when I when I went back to it because that's the first fragrance that I thought of when I smelled the Tom Ford fragrance at Dillard's I said man I got something at the house that's, that remind me of this and it was this fragrance guys so I'm looking forward to giving this one some wearing this fall coming up all right, and the last fragrance we'll be discussing is another one from the House of Latafa. We have Royce Black. Now, this one is cloned in One Million Privé. And guys, if you if you smelt the One Million Privé, which I haven't, uh, they say it's a wonderful fragrance. For the price I paid for this one, I got this one on Amazon for, I think it was 20 something dollars. This thing right here is good, guys. Sweet, spicy, got the cinnamon in it. And I wore it last year, you know, quite a few times, but not enough. But this year, I'm most definitely, this is gonna be in my rotation. All five of these fragrances are gonna be in my rotation more this year. And this was one of the ones that I enjoyed. You get the spiciness, the vanilla, uh, the cinnamon, uh, some woods in it. This thing was just good, guys. Let me put a little in the air. Atomizer's okay. Ah, oh, man. This thing is good, guys. If you haven't ran across this one, I haven't had the chance to smell it. They got another one too, uh, called Royce Blue. I forget, that one smelled good. I smelled this one too at one of the fragrance shops that we have uh, in the area that sell some of the, the UAE fragrances. I go to that location too sometimes and, and get put, get a chance to put my nose on, on some fragrances before I buy them online. And, and that's why I came across this one at 
uh, the rust black and the, the rust blue. I need to add the blue into my, my collection as well. But guys, I'm going to end this video. I want to get on here and put out, you know, some fragrances that I'm looking forward to wearing this fall. Uh, been kind of hectic, you know, getting back in front of the camera, uh, putting out some content. My work week been kind of busy uh, and juggling everything else, guys, you know. But I'm still committed. I got to go on, you know. Put my foot down and, and put out this content that I know a lot of people enjoy. And if you have any of these fragrances in your collection, let me know what you think of them, guys. Are you looking forward to wearing these fragrances just as much as I am? And let me know what you think of them. Do you think these fragrances are, are good for the fall, for the winter? You know, do you think they're quality fragrances? Is it something that you've been looking into trying? You know, because in my opinion, guys, all five of these are wonderful fragrances. And uh, you might want to get your hands on them. So I'm going to wrap it up, guys. I appreciate y'all checking, checking out the content. Please remember to like, subscribe, you know, and get in the comments and let me know what y'all think about these fragrances, guys. And until then, we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.